poem is for anyone who felt like they left home a little bit too soon. Somewhere between Roanoke and Nashville, I fell in love with Tom Waits. I realized that I haven't been far enough from home to have my own voice. So I packed my things, stuck my thumb out like a broke fence post and waited. My only company was a duffel bag filled with meaningless yesterdays and a stretch of road that could have led to deliverance if it wasn't paid by the devil himself. And I waited, as sober as a stone, and listened to what roared down the hillside. It sounded like a throat of hot coals, or a heart filled with splinters, and it hummed like a disgruntled angel, or a soul carefully tiptoeing its way out of hell. This glorious sound. It sounded like... It sounded like an orchard of banjo strings swept away by some Bible Belt thunderstorm. Riverboat gospel, unwanted tears from a widowed pastor falling upon stained scripture, and it howled like a lonesome veteran drunk dialing Christ. And I realized then that I would not know true love until I learned how to play a harmonica. <laughs> and I remembered that soap boxes are for so. Somewhere between Roanoke and Nashville, I fell in love with Tom Waits. I realized that I will not know true pain until I make someone else's wounds my own. That I will not know what it is to take a true breath until I drown on my own vomit. And I will not know what it is to be lonely until I have a one night stand with faith. Somewhere between Roanoke and Nashville, I fell in love with Tom Waits. He pulled up in an old beat up pickup truck. It looked more like a rolling shrine of fallen amens. Hillbilly yard sale in a flatbed with broken piano parts that looked more like human limbs and a stack of stolen motel Bibles. In the front cab, there was a speckled hound dog with whiskey on its breath. It licked my hand and it felt more like an old friend telling me some unwanted truth in a late night. Somewhere night. between Roanoke and Nashville, I fell in love with Tom Waits, so I threw my duffel bag on the dashboard, jumped in, kissed my fingers like a farewell wish, and blessed the Virgin Mary hanging like some runaway slave in the rear view. And without looking him in the eye, I told him, please, just take me back home. <laughs> <laughs>